Welcome to what will likely be a very controversial episode, and I'll probably get myself in trouble because I'm going to talk today about something people get really mad about. Today, I'm going to give you seven reasons why you should leave your current gym and find a new place to train. And just before we get going, if anyone watching has left a gym to go to a new school, please let me know what your experience was like and how it was received by your current school because I'm genuinely interested to know. But sometimes you just need a change. A change that you definitely need to make? Get rid of whatever garbage jujitsu apparel you're wearing and upgrade your life with epic roll and this gi or this rash guard, these shorts, these t-shirts, this hat, some artwork. Whether you're trying to look your best on the mat or look your best off the mat, Epic Roll is your go-to. Epic Roll is made by grapplers for grapplers, and this grappler is going to get you 15% off at epicrollbjj.com with the coupon code PODCAST15. Make sure you follow them on the gram at epicrollbjj, and if you tag them when you post wearing your new stuff, they might just give you a repost. And if you tag your favorite podcast, and by that I mean this one, Tag at that underscore jujitsu underscore podcast in your new Epic Roll stuff and I'll give you a repost to epicrollbjj.com, coupon code podcast15. Let's make some people mad. Here's why you should leave your school. Welcome to that jujitsu podcast. If you've spent any time in the jiu-jitsu community on Reddit, you will notice that at least once a week, someone will make a post asking for advice about whether or not they should stay at their current school or find a new place to train. And I'm here to tell you, brace for it, it's okay to leave your current school. Loyalty is a word that, especially by old school BJJ guys, is heavily tied to jiu-jitsu for some reason. It's good to be a loyal person. It's good to be committed and show loyalty to your loved ones and your family and people that are important to you. But jujitsu sometimes has this traditional martial arts mentality where your team is like your clan and it's sacrilegious to even think about training under someone else. Like all professors are constantly at war with each other and you're deserting one army for another. That's just not how it is today. If you're a pro competitor, I'd say all of the reasons why I'm about to tell people to leave their school probably don't apply to you, mostly because they've got you to this point being a professional competitor. They know you, they know how you need to prepare, they know how you need to be coached to be successful. But if you're a hobbyist and someone who just trains jujitsu because jujitsu is fun, then you are a consumer and your school offers a product that you pay for. That's not to demean the relationship you may have with your school or your instructor because you can be very close to them and even consider them close friends. But at the end of the day, they provide a service and you pay for that service. If you're unhappy in some way, you have every right to find someone else whose services you'd rather pay for. It's not disloyal. You're not a scumbag. You're not going to burn forever in jujitsu hell. With all that being said, Here's some reasons why you should find a new place to train. Every gym has a culture. It's usually hard to define and the school's culture is what makes it what it is. How is the relationship between the instructors and the students and between the students themselves? How casual or strict is the school? Basically, a school's culture is how you would define what it's like being on the mat there. If any or all of that changes, then it might be time to leave. When a culture shifts and those relationships are shaken up, it can be jarring. Think about your own identity. If the way everyone perceived you and described you suddenly shifted, that would be pretty tough to cope with. Same with a jiu-jitsu school. I think most of the people I see that are considering changing schools say something to the effect of, my school's schedule changed and I can only make one class a week, or I moved far away and it's very inconvenient to get there. If the schedule changes so much that you can't train, then what's the point of being at that school? Do you really value someone thinking you're a loyal student over actually being able to train? If you can't train as much as you want to, find a place where you can. Speaking from personal experience, Sometimes you can simply outgrow a school. 
Sometimes you get to a point where you feel like you've learned everything you can from a school or an instructor. And for some of the reasons I'm gonna discuss next, you know you've absorbed as much from them as you possibly can and it's time to move on. Maybe you're someone who is trying to compete and when you show up to train, the class is just full of lower belts and you're not getting the hard training rounds that you need. Maybe your school isn't encouraging you to compete or supporting you in that. Maybe you realize you're the only one seeking out new technique and bringing it in and you wanna be more of a student rather than being in charge of bringing in the new knowledge for everybody else. You want someone else to be responsible for the advancement of your own learning. If these are happening, you might have outgrown where you are and it might be time to find a better fit. If the class size is consistently shrinking every time you train, that is not a good sign. Quality over quantity is definitely a thing and it's better to have a handful of good training partners than 100 bad ones, but you at least need that handful. On top of being an indicator that other people don't wanna train there either, a shrinking class size isn't gonna give you what you need from an academy and you should probably get out of there. If you start to notice that your instructor spends less and less time instructing and more and more time just rolling, that should send up some alarm bells. There should be a good balance of instruction and drilling and then sparring. If class is turning into just an open mat where you show up and spar, then you're not learning and your instructor is doing you a disservice by not teaching. Also, we'll call this point 5A, I guess. It doesn't really warrant its own point, but if it's obvious your instructor is making up what they're teaching as they go along, you also don't wanna be their student anymore. If you can tell they didn't know what they were gonna teach until they got on the mat, that's a bad sign too. Obviously, your instructor's job is to improve your game. But if your instructor stops trying to improve their own game, then they aren't going to be able to improve yours past a certain point. You should ask yourself, who is my professor's professor? Who is my instructor learning from? How often are they learning new things and how are they trying to improve their own game? If they aren't trying to improve their own game, how can you expect them to improve yours? You're going to hit a point where they have nothing else to offer you, and that is not a good point to be at. This is probably the most important one. A good reason to leave a school is if you just fucking want to. If you just want to try somewhere else, you honestly don't need a reason because, as previously stated, it's your life and your money. Do what's best for you. How do you go about leaving a school? Well, first of all, you should have a destination set. You should try a few classes at another school and make sure you have somewhere else to go that's a good fit. You really don't want to announce you're leaving and then find out there isn't a school within 100 miles and you have to crawl back to the school you just left. Tell your instructor and be honest. Tell them why you're leaving. It's like a romantic relationship. If you're honest with them, maybe you can help them have better luck with the next person if they can adjust the things that soured your relationship. Don't let them try to make you feel guilty or get confrontational. If they're a professional, they won't, and you can part as friends. If they do get hostile about it, just bounce and don't get into it with them because it's not worth it. You're leaving anyway. When you do find a new school, don't talk shit about the last one. No matter why you left, you don't need to air it all out. You can be honest with your new school and discuss things that you didn't like about your old one, but there's a difference in making sure you're on the same page with a new place and completely trashing the last place. First of all, it doesn't really accomplish anything. No matter how much shit you talk about your old school, it's not going to change anything or change the experience you had, so what good is it? Second of all, talking all that shit is just going to have your new school asking, well, what's he going to say about us? And that's not how you want to start a new relationship. Keep it to yourself and be happy you're in a place that's better for you. Just remember, it's not disloyal, you're not a scumbag, and if your instructor freaks out and calls you any of those things, then, well, I think that confirms that you leaving was 100% the right decision. 
I hope you found this helpful and I am interested to hear your stories about leaving school. So please comment below what your experience was like. If you enjoyed this video or you hate watch this video, either way you made it to the end. So why not smash that thumbs up button? And if you are not already, please subscribe to the channel. There's some things over here that you should watch next and I will see you all in the next one.